Laguna Bacalar is home to giant living stromatolites. And stromatolites are one of the oldest forms of life on our planet. At the time that stromatolites first formed, there was nothing living on land. There was only stuff living in water. So these guys figured out a way to utilize the land. And the way they did that is by secreting this calcium covering that makes them look like rocks. So they secrete this layer of calcium over them to protect themselves from sunlight. And just beneath that calcium coating is where the blue-green algae lives. From what we know in, in terms of evolution, where these were the dominant organism on the planet. They were the only organism on the planet. And that's what's so cool about them is that these are our ancestors. It goes back. This is where all life arise, arose from. And so the uh, stromatolites are incredibly important to conserve uh, because they're so unique in the world. I call these world, the Laguna Bacala, I call it a world-class lake. And it really was. I mean, it is a world-class lake. There are very, very few lakes in the world that have that designation. For one thing, it's in a unique setting here on the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, it's the second largest lake in Mexico. Um, it uh, has been until recently, I think, relatively undiscovered, so it has been undeveloped um, on the shoreline, but obviously that's, from my even limited observation, that's changing. Um, and as development increases and more people enjoy the lake, it puts pressure on the system. And so it's important to understand the impact we have on the lake as people. Right now, we're at the Cenote Azul in Bacala. And in the Cenote, some of our colleagues had observed stromatolites growing along the wall. And this is a very deep cenote, and so the light level goes out quickly. And so we want to know what adaptations the microbes are here. I think that we're going to have different microbes, and um, that's going to be very interesting to understand this whole system of the Bacalar Lagoon. No one fully knows how much Laguna Bacalar and the stromatolites can teach us about ourselves and the way nature adapts. It's in our hands to decide in which direction we want it to go. Este ecosistema se está transformando debido a la mala planeación y ejecución del desarrollo. Si no tenemos drenaje, si no tenemos un plan de saneamiento de aguas, Bueno, vamos a decirlo, de, de, de reciclar la basura. No existe un, un plan de saneamiento para la basura. Todo esto que no estamos trabajando, ¿dónde, dónde va? Y la respuesta es una, es terminar la laguna. This is a political matter. It's an economic and political matter more than anything. And, and a social matter. You have to get the people in this area to really support the ecology of the lake. Because if they don't, they'll lose it. 